My name is Leslie. I'm an event producer. I used to use Cvent and I switched to Hopin. For more videos like this, click below. Cvent is a event management software that allows you to uh, manage your registrations and also um, manage on-site registration. They have technology that allows you to do on-demand batch printing. And Hopin is a virtual conference platform that allows you to host events on their um, browser-based website. And it also comes with registration features and reporting uh, features that allows you to track engagement across the platform. Hopin is best for hosting virtual events. It allows you to really create an engaging experience for your audience in an online environment. Um, it has really robust networking features, including a what we like to call a speed dating um, on-camera networking experience. And it also has a robust um, chat functionality that allows you to use polls and Q&As to engage with your audience throughout the presentations. Cvent, I like to think of Cvent as the Apple of event management software. It is incredibly robust. It has so many features. I haven't even been able to use the full range of them. But one of the things that is really um, unique about uh, Cvent is that you can create custom event websites for your events. That gives your audience a really kind of unique um, introduction to what the event might be about. Um, it's one of the best features that I like about Cvent's event management platform is that you can create these really customized uh, micro websites, uh, really um, lift up your branding and your visual aesthetic of your event to really draw a potential attendee in. Um, and also it allows you to have a number of reporting functionalities that you can really get really granular um, in tracking your reporting and your various types of um, emission items. Um, to really customize the experience for your attendees and also track the demographic information after the event. Getting started with Hopin is incredibly easy. It's a very user-friendly platform. If you can set up a Facebook page, you can use Hopin. It's um, very intuitive. The menu layout is very easy to navigate. It has a lot of um, help support uh, features that allows you to, as you're navigating across the site, to understand what the different functionalities do um, when you toggle them on and off. Um, it's the visual layout is very simple, but very but robust. You get a lot out of the of the software, even though the, the platform itself is, is very uh, low maintenance, if you will. Um, it's almost like viewing a YouTube video. Um, so you can navigate using your mouse or even by using your mouse on your desktop or laptop or um, even um, using the software on your iPhone or Android device or your tablet. It's super user-friendly and um, works great across mobile apps. Uh, Cvent actually takes a bit of a learning curve. As I said, Cvent is um, incredibly dynamic. It has so many features that you can even earn a certification in building Cvent sites because that's how complex and robust their software is. You can really um, fine-tune it um, to really um, boost uh, the amount of information you can get out of it. So I would say it was a steep learning curve for myself and my colleagues in using that software. I definitely had to rely on the tutorials um, within their um, user library. The upside of that is that they have an incredibly large user library with videos and um, walkthrough tutorials and um, you know articles with screenshots that literally walk you through step by step how to build and manage your event within their um, uh, environment. But it is a steeper learning curve learning to use Cvent and um, took me longer to uh, feel like I had my secrets. When looking for this type of software, the biggest considerations that I take into account is user ability. Um, and whether or not my myself and my team would be able to grasp um, how to manage the technology easily. Um, we like things that we can do on our own versus having to like outsource um, an additional like contractor to help us like manage software that we bought or have to like do um, extensive training in, which is why um, Hop In really, in terms of user friendliness, really is. Um, is a, is a kind of go-to, is, is currently our go-to platform for our virtual events. And we produce, we're, we're in the process of producing our fourth, fourth event using the Hopin platform um, since 2020. And 
with Sevent, the reason why I continue to use Sevent is because what it offer what it offers in terms of the granularity that you can get into in terms of how you manage your your ticket items and being able to uh, capture really detailed information from your audience as they register is invaluable. Um, and it integrates well with some of the other major platforms like Salesforce. And so it, we actually use the two products in tandem, but if I had to say like what product really is my go-to product, I would go for hop in because of its usability. And, and that was the thing that we were looking for as we had to make the transition from going from in-person event to online events. Um, Seven does offer a online event technology, but it wasn't um, it wasn't in its strongest place of development when we had to make that strong pivot to virtual events in 2020. And so Hopin really, to me, feels like it's at the cutting edge of really listening to its customer to um, to constantly update and bring new features to the technology. From using the platform in 2020 to using it now, there are over at least two dozen new features. Like they're really listening to the feedback from their customers and and in you know to the best of their ability, bringing new updates to the market to their product as fast as they can. And it's really increased our ability to to create more engaging events with our audience and set up our events faster um, than we were able to do you know close to a year ago. So I give them a lot of credit for um, how they're advancing the, their technology and see them as a front runner in the event management space.